Hello again. So today I have a remarkable rifle for you. I can tell you I, I really like the Bergera and reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, made a video and it was good. I still like that rifle. And then I was contacted by a fellow by the name of Ven and he said he has a new line of rifles from Italy. And actually I was supposed to be filming a Frankie rifle this afternoon. But this rifle arrived and I, I just have to show you this rifle. It's unbelievable. So the box is in front of me. It's an arsenal firearms. I'll tip it up so you can read it. I mean, have you ever heard of this company? Arsenal? I don't know. I like the black box and the coat of arms. Set that back down. The model of the rifle is called the Legend. It's here on the side of the receiver. And I opened the box and I thought, well, it's going to be another kind of push feed rifle. And there are only so many different variations to bolt action rifles. And I was correct, it is a push feed bolt action rifle. And after that, it's exceptional in every way. So these little things that you see here, these little s silver things, that's my method of checking what these guns are made out of. So this rifle is pretty well entirely steel. The, the uh, trigger guard is not, the magnet sticks there because of the release button. But everything else is steel and I can't tell you about this stock um, because I decided in fairness to the rifle I should have it assembled. It handles perfectly. The stock is not flimsy. This is the first polymer stocked rifle that doesn't feel like a compressed kind of glad garbage bag. The, the uh, material for the stock is quite unique and I would have to ask the distributor what it, what it exactly is made of but there are no honeycomb shapes and there's no twisting anywhere and you can tell by the sound. I mean for a little while before I took it apart I thought that they put a camo finish on a on a wood stock which I've seen before and I've seen them painted black I'm sure you have as well the receiver is in 308 um, rigid the bolt is I mean it's a Remington 700 feeling but it's slicker and it's not really quicker because it's a normal bolt lift the extractor and ejector are perfect I hit everything I shot at. Oh, and my favorite thing about the rifle is I took it out of the box and I could use the rifle. It has terrific iron sights. And as you can see, they're steel. I often see these and they're either plastic and they're held on by a peg. I think I told you I went hunting once with a very expensive rifle from Germany. And whether it was the rear sight or the front sight, I think it was the front sight flew off and there was just kind of a peg sitting there and I thought for a rifle it cost three grand uh, it should have some better sight those were I think aluminum anyway this sight is steel that that's just another magnet I put on there uh, that's held on that's screwed on in two places the rear sight is kind of a variation of a Remington sight but there are only so many ways to make a a rear sight it's it's beautifully adjustable for windage and elevation as you know, I'm not running around uh, shooting fruits and watermelons and targets. The, the science of boring barrels was perfected some time ago. And I don't know what this would shoot. I'm sure a minute of angle or less. They all can, especially in 308 or 6.5 Creedmoor, something like that. Uh, the action is blued, which I prefer above any coating. I still think bluing is the best and I think these coatings are interesting, but generally speaking, when a system has been used for several hundred years and then it's being replaced by something else and people are saying it's superior, it's not superior, it's cheaper, maybe in some ways better, but I don't think so. I think bluing is your best finish. Definitely the most forgiving if it gets scratched, you can always do something. It's drilled and tapped for scopes. I'm not sure what we're filming. The bolt release is perfect. I didn't put a magnet on there either but that's steel as well 
the dimensions of the stock are ideal and like I said I'm still kind of tickled that I could take it out of the box and use the rifle. I didn't have to buy scope bases and a scope and all the rest of that clutter. Uh, it's right on it and super accurate. I don't know if I finished my thought but I generally shoot like coke cans with water in them. That sounds primitive but if you can hit a coke can at 200 yards with a rifle with iron sights I think you've got a pretty good rifle and a good chance of getting whatever it is you're after. The magazine though it is unbelievable so the release for the magazine is here on the rear guard. You can see how easily that falls out and this also picks up all the magnets. I couldn't believe this magazine. Most of the time you have to go back to the 60s or 70s or earlier to get a magazine of this quality. It's all steel, beautifully polished. I actually don't know how Arsenal makes a profit on this rifle. It's exceptional in every way. The bolt lift, I mean perfect. No, no functioning flaws, no bobbles, no weird ejection, no weird feeding. Just exactly the way a bolt action rifle should be. And maybe there are some people out there that really want controlled round feed. I don't argue with them, that's a good thing. But if you don't care and you're buying a Model 700 type rifle for the dollar, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say what these cost, but these are very affordable rifles and for the features you're getting, you should be paying $1,500 compared to the others, but they're not $1,500. Safety's perfect. Um, for the people out there that are trigger buffs, and as you know, I'm kind of cavalier when it comes to the trigger, but I found the trigger as good as any trigger I own, and, and I own a few. Uh, the receiver's quite unique. Like I said, I, I had it apart, and I, I just couldn't believe how good this rifle is. And it has a unique kind of feature. You see where the receiver ring seems to end here? Um, it, it actually goes a little further. There's sort of a cradle here. That you, it's, it, you can see it here in the front of the stock here. I'm not sure exactly why they made it that way. And I was snooping with a magnifying glass and a flashlight to see whether this is pressure fit, which it could be. But maybe it's threaded. Anyway, unless you're rebarreling the rifle, which takes like eight or 10,000 rounds in 308, depending on how quickly you shoot, there's nothing to worry about. Um, it, it, it's easily a best buy on the market. I have no idea how I'm not aware of these. Um, obviously, Italy is making some great rifles. The Frankie I was gonna review is also, it was exceptionally accurate rifle, but it's, it isn't in the, in the league of this of this arsenal and you get the sling swivels and the the whole rig as you see it is a bargain i'm going to wait till the camera crew films the one side cameraman i'll flip it around for you so this is exactly what you would be getting and you don't have to do anything just take it out of the box and it's ready to go uh, i mean if you want to put a scope on of course that's up to you but for people like me, it's kind of nice that a rifle isn't sold like a shotgun. Oh, and I like this recoil pad too. See how the way the, the uh, stock transitions? Now that, that probably isn't anything exceptional for most people. But a lot of times I see these great big bulky recoil pads. And this one is the right material, gives more than enough cushioning. So anyhow, you can probably tell uh, I kind of review a lot of rifles and it's not often that you get something like the Arsenal product and they come in a broad array of calibers. I've never seen as many calibers and I'm actually going to ask the dis distributor for another caliber um, next week. So there it is if, if you want to get something for this hunting season. I don't know where to get them. I don't know. I, like I said, I didn't even know they existed. But it has everything that you would want and maybe get a spare magazine. They're so, so beautifully made. It's nice just owning the magazines. Most of the magazines are, well, they work, but 
I don't have the highest opinion of these plastic things and I don't care how many tanks you drive over them. It's still just a plastic magazine. Anyway, this one isn't. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Um, please support my efforts on Patreon if you can. And we'll see you all on the next video. Take care.